So my battery just went flat. Now I'm going to pull the, I'll pull the laptop out. So people say, ha, you know, you have to take a vitamin B12 supplement because you're a vegan. And it's like, well, hang on. How come, if that was true, how come people who eat animal products for breakfast, lunch, and dinner are coming up with vitamin B12 deficiencies? How come? Why? Because the number one reason is malabsorption. So if you have a history of gastritis, celiacs, Crohn's, pharmaceutical drugs, you know, nitrous oxide and surgeries, nitrous oxide and chuffing it and go, whoa, whoa, you know, that sort of stuff. We used to do that as teenagers all the time, sitting in the back of the car, chuffing nitrogen. And uh, that stuff's just going to wipe your B12, you know, out of the door. And we live in such a sterile society, chlorine water, air pollution, look at the big smoke, the city, you know what I mean? <laughs> we live in this. It's like, that's cool, I accept that. I'm part of society, I'm not going to be like a, you know, go out into the woods and live, you know, out of contact with society. I want to be in society, running a muck, running a raw muck, throwing my banana skins around and making a difference and being the change you want to see. And as a result of that, I have to sit behind computers, absorb EMRs, you know, eat washed food, eat some sprayed food occasionally, suck in fumes and ride my bike, fly in planes, whatever, you know, running around. That's cool. It's part of part of being the change you want to see and it's part of co contributing to a, a better world. You know, you've got to deal with it and get over it. So, you know, <laughs> you know, I, I talk with Tour de France doctors, Lance Armstrong, everyone asks, do you guys take vitamin B12 injections? Lance Armstrong, Cadell Evans, Stuart O'Grady, all the top coaches. Yeah, everyone's taking B12 injections and none of them are vegan. It's like, go figure. So, that's my levels of B12. If you've got an issue with that, then, you know, get some injections. Just do your sublinguals, whatever. Do your own homework and see what you think is the best option. Because my housemate, good mate of mine, eats raw, 100%, and he also includes his animal products for the last four or five years. Full on, man. He'll sit down and eat a steak, and, you know, he'll crack open eggs, and I'll, I'll always give him a bit of a laugh about it, and we have a laugh. You know? And his B12 was about the same as mine before I started supplementing. So it's, you know, if you've got B12 issues, it's not because you're a vegan, you know? Most likely, is caused by your past, your gastric, gastric issues, or your stress, or your celiacs, or your Crohn's, or your things like that. You know, people who think B12 is a vegan thing, that just shows their nutritional ignorance. You know, and there's a lot of raw food leaders out there who say, "Oh, I do animal products because I had low B12." It's like, no, man, you had low B12 from your history that inspired you to go raw in the first place. You know, not many people come into raw with like amazing health. You know, most of us come into it because we're sick. And the rest come into it because they're really smart. For me, I was really, really sick. So I could go, oh, I'm not going to do B12 because that's not natural. So I'd have a sex to me, man. That ain't natural. Just do whatever it takes to get the results you desire, you know. And uh, just if it's still not convinced, go to your vet and say, vet, I feed my dog meat three times a day. Can we get our dog tested for vitamin B12 deficiency? And the vet will say yes. You can get your cat tested, your rat tested, your dog tested, your fish tested, your tiger tested. If you've got a pet tiger, you can get them tested for vitamin B12 deficiency. Ask your local vet if you don't believe me. Then go and jump on a bodybuilding forum where you're eating 12 eggs for breakfast, four chicken breasts, and a glass of orange juice as a snack, you know, as a morning meal. And then they're doing a B12 injection every day or three times a week and hitting the gym. So hang on, these guys eat so much animal products, they should be getting enough B12, but they're not. That's why supplementation comes into, into play because we live in such a sterile society. So if you want supplementation, do it. If you don't, maybe do some more research and you know, read this book. You know, Join the fear campaign and read this book and maybe you might change your mind. You know? So, just, uh, you know, I live a high energy lifestyle, man. I'm out there talking, stressing, chewing up my B12 like it's bananas. So maybe I need a little bit more. Yes. So my blood's are great, perfect, textbook, according to the mainstream medical place, you know, it's so cool. It's, uh, what does that mean? I don't know, you know. It means that I'll never have this debate ever, ever again with people, because I can just pull out my blood test or show them the link and say, hey, check it out, man, look at this, you know, look at this. Big, the big smoke. <laughs> Sydney, Australia, February 4th, 2010. Live your purpose. You could die tomorrow, man. So tell your loved ones you really care about them. Just bring up someone you haven't spoken to and say, hey man, if I die tomorrow, I just want to let you know I love you, bro. I love your sis. I love your mum. I love your dad. All that shit in the past, it's just chatter chitter. You know, chitter chatter, chatter chitter. It doesn't mean anything. I care about you. I love you. I just want to let you know in case I die tomorrow, man.
you know, live today as if you'll die tomorrow. Because any other way, man, you walk around half asleep going, I've got the rest of my life to do this. Like, I'm a bit busy now. I've got to watch the television. I can't really find what my life purpose is. I can't eat healthy. I don't have time. I've got to go to work and the job I hate to buy crap I don't need to impress people I don't even really like to buy things. Material assets to get judged on my status level. Meaningless material acquisitions that don't mean fuck all. That's what I got. I'm too busy to get healthy and exercise and read the books and listen to the audio. I'm just too busy. Get that and just throw it in the, in the, into the bay. Throw it into Darling Harbour in Sydney, whatever. The Bay Area in San Francisco or whatever. Just, just get that attitude and pull it out of your ear and throw it into the water. Drag, self-doubt, kicking and screaming. Just, just chuck it in the water, dunk it and drown it. I'll leave you with a little saying. There was an Indian speaking to a child and saying, there's a continuous battle of two wolves in your head, in your mind, and they're fighting every day. And the child's like, wow, you know, which wolf will win? And the Indian elder said, the, the wolf who wins is the one you feed the most. So the moral of the story is, be careful what, what wolf you feed, aka, you know, you got your false self and the true self. You know, feed your true self. Give yourself love, bliss, joy, compassion, passion, you know, all that stuff, the good food, fruits and vegetables and stuff like that. If you feed the false self, you're feeding it with doubt, negativity, lack mentality, pain, fear, fire, destruction, meat, animal murder, dairy, eggs, all that slop and stodge and, you know, all that stuff in there. <laughs> you know, so feed that true self wolf and just, you know, take a bite out of life and uh, just run free in the forest, man. All right. I'll see you on the road, man. I'm going to go into the city <laughs> and create a raw upheaval. So I'll see you later.